Hi, I'm Fred from the Indoor Garden Superstore in Waterford, Michigan. I'm going to show you four stages on how to get a seed started and get it planted to the next stage. First, we're going to start with some pepper seeds. We're going to plant these pepper seeds in a root riot or rapid rooter organic cube. Take the cube, open it up, place the seeds approximately a quarter inch into the cube. Use more than one seed in case one doesn't sprout. I throw about three in there. Place the seed in a propagation tray. Pour about one tablespoon of water on it and replace it with a humidome. I'm going to spray the inside of the humidome to hold some humidity in. Your seeds will need no light. You can keep them in a dark place until they sprout to about two inches. Once they sprout to about two inches, you're going to take them to the next stage. Got some cherry tomatoes here. Got some sweet basil and some hot peppers. I, re I placed them in what we call a float system. This is the second stage where we place them into a float system which is just a styrofoam float with neti cups floating on top of a highly aerated nutrient solution. Plants will not grow in just water. Hydroponics is oxygen and water. After this stage, I'm going to take you over here to some bigger plants that are a little bigger than those. These are ready to be transplanted into the next stage. This is be stage three. Up to this point, we've taken the seedlings that were sprouted out of the humidome and put them into the small hydroponic setup. Now we're going to take some bigger plants and transplant them into a bigger hydroponic setup. These plants have grown enough so they're ready to be transplanted into a bigger system. I'm going to start with some sweet basil. You take the plant. I have a base of hydrogen rocks. I'm going to set the plant in and surround it with more hydrogen rocks. The rocks sole purpose is to hold the plant in place. They get no nutrition from those hydrogen rocks. All the nutrition they get comes from your nutrient tank. Now we'll plant some cilantro. Do the same thing. Have a hydrogen rock base. Gently set the cube in there. Surround it with hydrogen rocks. They're holding it in place. There you have transplanted plants. Now we've taken the plants out of the larger float system and transplanted them into an ebb and flow system. An ebb and flow system works very simple. When the tray floods, it brings fresh nutrient solution to the root zone. When the tray drains, it draws fresh oxygen down into the root zone. Now the tray is flooding with highly oxygenated nutrient solution. As the tray fills up, it will bring fresh nutrient solution to the root zone. Then when the tray drains, it will bring fresh oxygen down into the root zone. That nutrient oxygen exchange cannot be achieved with dirt, only hydroponically. All right, we've explained the ebb and flow or flood and drain system. Now I'm going to show you a deep water culture system. The deep water culture system circulates constantly. It has aerated nutrient solution 
being pumped up into the tray. On top of the tray, I have aerators throughout the top of the table supplying fresh oxygen to the plants on the tray also. Without all this oxygen, these plants would drown. But with the highly oxygenated solution and aerators on the tray, you get what is called a deep water culture system. Now that I've shown you two completely different hydroponic systems, you might be wondering, is one more beneficial than the other? I wouldn't say one is more beneficial than the other because both have a different way of achieving hydroponics and that is bringing a nutrient solution and fresh oxygen to the root zone. If you want more information, please visit us at our website, indoorgardensuperstore.com, or call us. We have a knowledgeable staff here at 1-877-22-HYDRO. Thanks for listening. <laughs>